So today I'm going to explain you how to create such a remote control, a physical remote control for all powered up devices. As the, the hub, the Technic hub has some gyro sensors in it, we need to create a mechanics which allows to move the hub in X direction and in Y direction. And of course, both can be combined. The easier thing is just to have like a moving lift arm with a turning point on the two directions independent of each other. So in order to illustrate a little bit better, I have created this little mock-up here. So it's one hub, uh, one motor, which simulates the driving and then one motor, which simulates the steering with an end stop on one side and an end stop on the other side. So that's basically what you need if you want to do a standard vehicle, uh, which can do driving and steering. And so we're going to see how this can be controlled with a joystick, with a physical remote control joystick. First of all, we need the powered up app. This one here, and just start it up. Let's choose create, create a new project, give it any name, and say we want to do some coding. So first of all, we're going to connect the two hubs. For that reason, the app is in connecting mode. We just press the button on the first hub. We see that it's going to connect. We press the connect button. We see it is connected. Press it again to see. So we see the first controller connected. Now what we're going to do, we press the second hub and the second hub appears. And now it's very important to keep the numbers or the order of the hubs in line. So you see the little number up here, 01, 02. And these are also the numbers which we refer later in the code to the correct hub. So the first one is the one of the remote control. The second one is the one of the vehicle. Now let's look at the most important blocks. So I would say there are two key blocks. The first one is you go to the orange one and there is one with this little cube in the middle, which allows you to read out the gyro sensor. The second most important one is this one under the white section uh, with the two hubs. which allows you to select the correct hub. So here you have the chance or the, the possibility to select one out of four hubs which are connected and then you select the motor or just a hub of it. And now I have selected the first hub, uh, general hub, the x-axis. If you move it in x direction, you see that the number is moving from about 30 all the way down to minus 37. So if you change here, instead of X axis, you select Y axis. It doesn't change that much if you move it in X axis, but if we move it in Y axis, we see again, it's moving from minus 35 all the way to plus 40. So that's already the key element. So basically we have a signal, we have a, a, a number on the controller and now we just need to make moving this number into the motor. That's what we're going to do next. So because the number is just going from minus 30 to uh, plus 30 about, we multiply it. So we select the multiplication, uh, add it here, then we multiply, let's say with four. So the top number would be about 140. We could also select three, that would work probably as well. Um, and now we see if we move the controller from the left to the right, we see the number is already going up all the way to 140. It should only go to, to 100, but that gives us just some more uh, or less movement, which needs to be done on the controller.
Now let's move it into the motors. We put in a start, we put in oh, an endless loop and our motor power control, move that in. Now we can select on the motor control uh, the vehicle motor, the driving motor is in hub two. We use again the hub selection. We select the hub two. And the driving motor, let me quickly check, is on port C. And now instead of just giving 50 as a motor power, we now move what we did before into that as um, parameter. So if we start our program, you see that if we move the joystick, the wheel starts turning. And if we move it to the other direction, it moves to the other direction. You also see if you move just a little bit, it moves slow. If we tilt the joystick more, we see that the wheel is turning with higher speed. So it's not just on and off, but it's really a proportional control. Now we also see we don't want to use the sideways movement of the joystick to move our uh, acceleration. So we change the Y axis here to the X axis. And now if you move forward and backwards, we control the motion of our vehicle. Now if the motor is spinning the wrong direction, uh, there is an easy way to correct that. Instead of multiplying with four, we just say multiplying with minus four and the motor will spin into the other direction. So for the steering, we start, start all over again. Uh, we do the same, we select hub one. Uh, we select, now let's select the Y axis because if we tilt the joystick left and right, uh, we want to get the signal for the steering. Uh, we leave it on minus four. And now there's a very comfortable block uh, all the way in the motors, almost at the end. So this one here, um, that is for steering. Again, we select that we want to have it on hub two, so the hub of the vehicle. And that steering motor is connected on port A. That is already correct. Now we just connect this number to the steering and off we go. We can start our program first. You see that the steering mechanism is centering to both sides. And now we can, with the X movement, we can control speed. And with Y movement, we can control steering within the range of the both ends. And of course, you can control both. Together, we can move forward and steer to any direction. Backwards, steer again. And again, if steering is going into the wrong direction, you mark this minus four, you change it to plus four, then it's moving into the other direction. This was a very quick introduction into how to build physical remote controls. Now, you can take this information, go further, create new kind of remote controls, maybe even steering wheels, foot pedals, or whatever you come up. And feel free to post your ideas into the command section.